I have in the past had very particularly bad luck with women. Um, and, uh, a few of them, like, a few of the more recent ones have more so pissed me off than anything else. There was this girl who, all the stars in the sky aligned to say, screw you, Max, this isn't gonna happen, and I still tried to pursue it. And, like, the reason why all of that happened, um, uh, I like this girl. I, I did, um, I don't care about her anymore, but, um, aside from the point... Like, if the universe could find the perfect way to tell me, do not do it, you know? I mean, you'd think that it would be that this girl had the same first name as my mom, or that she, like, her nickname was my sister's name, or that the first girl I ever had a crush on was her best friend, or anything like that, but, you know, I, I still don't know what happened. I, I mean, I really don't care that much, but, you know, I would be, um... I still don't know what happened. I still don't know why she um, ever um, decided not to pursue me. Um, and then after that, I met another girl. And this one was... It, I, I gotta tell you this story. Uh, there was this girl um, who I was talking to who uh, had a boyfriend. Should have been a red flag, but I said, you know what? Um, nothing lasts forever, right? So... I started to pursue her, I started talking to her, and things were going pretty well, we, you know, we went out for drinks one night, and, um, while her boyfriend was still at work, and, um, we, we hung out, we talked a little bit, and, uh, then she stopped texting me, completely, and I couldn't text her because she didn't want her boyfriend finding out about us, so... That was just kind of the end of it. And then I saw the most beautiful thing ever. Her life just <laughs> all over. And uh, I, I'm a horrible whistler, by the way. If you, that's that's my biggest secret. It's my um, it's the worst thing that I ever could have done is whistle. That's the thing I'm most self-conscious about. Anyway, she was working one day at her job where she drove and she ran into the building and I found out about that and I was just so happy and I found out the rest of the story she ran into the building and then her boyfriend broke up with her and kicked her out of the house and everything just started falling apart and this is the closest I've ever come to masturbating to somebody else's pain I was excited. I'm like, oh, can anything else happen? What, what, what else is going to happen to you? Please, something. Just, I, I don't even know what could get worse. You just, like, you're Bill Murray in freaking stripes right now. That's what's your, that's what your life is becoming. And you, you, and you're not, you're not, you know, you smoke and you're, you're an idiot. So, you know, I, which again, why would I have been pursuing that? I don't know. But you are getting so close to, like, there, there's no military for you. You can't be Bill Murray in stripes. So what's, what's left? So her life just starts falling apart, and then she has to move away, and I never see her again. And I'm just, you know, like the entire time, I'm just like, oh, yes, yes, yes. And it, which is the craziest thing ever, because, like, when people do that jerking off motion, that's like the biggest quickie ever. I don't understand it when people are just like, hey, it's like, oh, wow, you came that fast? That's crazy. Um, I've never even imagined going that fast, uh, nor, nor would I even enjoy it anymore. It's just like, oh, uh, like, you know, it's like you're Spider-Man and you're just like, you know, ah, get away. And, you know, that's all there is to it, you know, but, um, I just thought I'd share that story.